Well, this is one picture that I created using Gemini Nano Banana Pro and I think that looks great. Except I would like to have a different color for the text. So I want to turn the text from white to yellow. Now, technically, I can always tell Gemini that I want to change the color and Gemini will do the modification for me. But there are two problems right now gemini nano banana pro is actually a lot slower than the previous version and also if you want to iterate on the picture or logo icon infographic or anything that was created by nano banana pro and you want to iterate really really quickly that i do recommend to actually turn that picture into a vector or SVG format. Like in this example, I have turned that picture into an SVG format. Basically, I'm factorizing the picture and I can easily change the color of the text and I don't have to wait for 30 seconds or one minute for Gemini to regenerate a new picture. It is something that I can do very, very quickly. And again, it is very useful for some iterative work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily convert any picture that was created by Gemini Nano Banana Pro into an SVG format. So you can easily change the color, move elements, or change the shape of any object in the picture. So let me show you how you can do it. First, let's go to recraft.ai. Yes, that's the name of the tool that we are going to use. This is completely free, but you need to create a free account. So this company is actually very generous. They are going to give you several, actually hundreds of credits a day, if I'm not mistaken. So that's enough to generate some pictures or even doing something with some features in this AI tool. Now, after you have logged into your account, you can start a new project or you can open the one that you probably already have but for me i'll just start a new project and actually for this demonstration i'm going to be using this picture this is a sort of anime picture i created using nano banana pro now after that you can upload your picture just click upload image and then select the picture now there is one thing here that you need to know right now if you are in the free plan the limit of image upload per day is only three yes you can only upload up to three images a day so that's not a lot but if you're not doing this very often then i think that's actually a fair amount of limitation that i would say for some people still is very much usable so just wait for the picture to be uploaded and it will appear on this canvas okay so the picture has been created now before you convert that into a vector i actually recommend to just duplicate the picture first you can press ctrl c or command v or command c on the keyboard then press ctrl v or command v to paste the picture now i will convert this picture just click it and then click factorize and just wait for several seconds for this ai tool to factorize your picture now it is actually pretty good although it is not quite perfect so you might have noticed that there could be some tiny details that might have changed or perhaps missed completely when the AI tool is converting the picture into an SVG format but more or less it is actually quite faithful to the original picture so for me I think it is still very much usable and still very very decent okay so this is the result as you can see there are some differences between the original and also the factorized picture but again i think it is still decent so here in recraft you can do a few things like you can change the color you can also make the picture larger because after all this is an svg format and also you can use ai to make some changes on the picture but that is the uh, outer scope of this video so uh, basically here for example i can change the color of the skin so maybe the tree so it's from green to something like pink or purple so yeah it looks very interesting now if you want to download this as an F svg format you can right click and then click export as and then click svg and you'll get the svg format uh, downloaded into your computer and later you can use it on adobe illustrator you can also open the file using corel draw figma among many other tools that are quite quite useful quite popular for uh, graphic design so yeah this is the svg file that has been created using recraft but of course it was created originally from gemini nano banana pro so that's basically how you can do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you 
on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.